Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I want to do a video on uh, the basics of preparedness, the basics of prepping. And because uh, I think to a certain extent, when people start watching prepping videos on YouTube, um, they see, you know, they see the bug out locations and they see the tactical gear and they see the the high end bug out vehicles and that kind of stuff. But in my experience, it's the basics that pull you through the bad times when bad things happen. It's the basic stuff that uh, ends up helping you out. And it's not interesting stuff it's it's basically boring stuff but those are the things that pull you through you know you can get off into the weeds and start talking about you know tactical gear and you can talk about uh you know buying gold and silver and you, there's just and buying all kinds of high tech gear um you can really get off into the weeds with that stuff and um Simple things have always helped me through the bad times. And uh, things like having a full pantry. You know, you're, you're more likely to run into a uh, situation where somebody in the family loses a job than an EMP going off. It's just sort of a statistical thing. You know, the statistical things that people are going to run into day after day Things like medical emergencies, you know, things like cars breaking down, economic problems. These are the more common things. You know, we can talk about, um, you know, people attacking substations and, you know, the possibility of war in Eastern Europe and cyber attacks. We can talk about those large events um, till, you know, we're blue in the face. But most problems that people are going to run into are basic, common, everyday problems. Um, you know, like I said, things like having a full pantry, having stuff there for, uh, you know, family members to go ahead and cook if, you know, the main person that does the cooking is disabled for some reason or can't be there. Another thing is passing on the knowledge. You know, as a general rule, most um families that are into preparedness there'll be one person that's into it and the rest of them kind of go along with it that's uh just life but being able to um pass that knowledge on so the other members of the family can um uh, operate in the uh the absence of the main person that's let's say the prepper in the house so the example of you know if uh the power goes out does everybody in the house know how to get the generator fired up that's the stuff that you uh, practice doesn't even cost anything um you know does does everybody know how to start the wood stove if um if the heat goes out um can does everybody know how to start the uh, propane heater if uh, the heat goes out what if the propane tank needs to be changed just these basic simple things are what's going to help you through and, uh, you know, things like uh, keeping a vehicle in repair. So if something does go wrong, you do have a medical emergency or somebody needs help, you know, an hour away, a family or friend calls up, hey, something happened. I really need some help. Can you come down here? You jump in your vehicle, you go to drive down there and your vehicle breaks down. Now you got a compounded problem. You know, stuff like keeping your vehicles in repair, keeping gas in your vehicles, you know, recognizing, um, problems before they happen, you know, getting ahead of um, potential problems are, are ways of, uh, and staying on top of things are ways of avoiding the problems to begin with. You know, being able to communicate. What if something happens where uh, you have to be able to communicate your situation? You might be in a bad situation and you have to be able to communicate that to somebody else that helps you out whether it's medical or it's emergency services, having a clear head and being able to communicate effectively, and then teaching that to the other people that, uh, you know, you're around, your family, your friends, your mag, whatever you want to call that, being, having that cool head and being able to communicate, again, doesn't cost anything, but it is something that can, it's a basic that can improve your situation, you know, and, uh, Things like uh, 
having a certain amount of medical stuff at your home so you can, uh, you know, diagnose or, you know, keep a baseline on something. Hey, you know, we checked uh, Uncle Bob's uh, blood pressure and it's always been like this. Well, now it's way higher, way low. Something's not right here. This is, you know, not the baseline for him. We should, you know, we should be able to uh, call somebody and find out, uh, get some help for them. You know, things like that. Basic, um, you know, stuff like basic medication so you can take care of small things and uh, render aid until you can get to uh, get to the professionals and uh, you can get um, you can get more serious uh, medical care. Um, always assume that the person that knows the most about a thing, something's going to happen to them. They're not going to be able to uh, participate in that. That's why everybody in the family, everybody in the group, everybody in the mag needs to be cross-trained in all the different aspects, whether it's, like I said, starting the generator, firing up the wood stove, making sure that the vehicles are up and running, being able to communicate, um, recognizing medical problems when they, uh, occur you know you see something you see a medical problem hey you know what i seen this before you tell the other people in your family hey you know what if you see this that means something's wrong that's something that you need to um, react to and uh, things like legal preparedness you know that's another thing people don't talk about enough you know i'm a cpl holder i've been you know licensed to carry a concealed uh, handgun in the state of michigan for decades already i've never once had to pull that to protect myself. But do you know how many times I've had to use a power of attorney paperwork or uh, medical advocate paperwork that saved me just a ton of problems and um, heartache down the road? I can think of probably six times right off the top of my head where I use that. So the things that seem mundane are the things that are going to help you out, you know, the most. So, you know, keep some food on hand. Keep some cash on hand because what if the primary breadwinner, you know, doesn't, uh, isn't able to go to work for a few weeks? Are the bills paid up? You know, things as simple as, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, your electric bill is paid. Now, what if that electric bill was three weeks behind and now somebody got sick that they can't afford to pay it? Now you've compounded that problem. So kind of staying up on that, uh, basic stuff you know if you have a good water filter system at your house does everybody know how to use that do they know how to service that if for some reason somebody's not around being able to having um one person being taken out of the equation because of uh, illness or some other incident shouldn't shut down the entire family um, they should be able to still move forward and they should still be able to function in the absence of someone else. And that gets back, you know, to the, just the, the raw basics of it, you know, things like keeping your vehicle up and running, keeping gas in your vehicle. You know, you don't want them, like they always say, when uh, somebody's expecting a baby, you don't want to have to stop and get gas when mama's in labor, you know, keep the, keep that gas tank full. Um, if you can have a uh, have a little side hustle where you can make a little bit of extra money on the side, if you can have as much stuff as you can paid for. That way, if the if a an economic problem happens where somebody loses a job or somebody can't work, you don't have to worry about the repo man coming in, you know, taking your only means of transportation or the bank booting you out of your house that you've been paying on ten years and uh, you still don't have it paid for yet because you know. Banks like to do that because that's how they make money. But uh, trying to stay ahead as much as you can, you know, not everybody can pay off their house right away. But if you can get it paid off, pay your stuff off, get that stuff paid for. Because then if something does happen, it's a lot easier to just pay the property taxes twice a year than it is make that payment every month. The same thing, you know, with a vehicle. And it's always, um, it's the basics. It's always down to the basics. And it's not, it's... If, you know, there are situations, you know, where tactical gear and bug out locations and, you know, high end uh, bug out vehicles and all the fancy gear and stuff, they would help you out. There are certain circumstances, you know, good comms equipment and stuff. There's there's all kinds of situations where those things can um, help you out, but they are not the um, the mundane everyday things, the everyday problems that normal um, lower middle class people like myself are going to run into, you know, the pr most of the problems that I have run into are really what you would call boring in um, the prepper world. But those are the things that um, 
have a tendency to compound and really cause a lot of misery in uh, people's lives. And I really would like to see people to avoid that as much as possible um, by focusing their preparedness on the stuff that can, uh, you know, happen the most common things that can happen. But anyway, um, I don't usually ask for people to uh, share videos, but if there's somebody out there that you're thinking about, that's thinking about getting into preparedness that you know, share this video and uh, remind them that it's the simple, basic, everyday problems that are most likely to happen and try to concentrate on getting solutions for those problems first and then uh, worry about the more elaborate problems after the fact. But anyways, Modern Refugee, I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys uh, get a little information, a little entertainment out of this video and uh, something to think about when analyzing your own situation. You guys have a good one.